John O'Neill, thank you very much for joining Cruise TV on the back of a very important win on Tuesday night, but probably more importantly, personally, from your, your contract extension, how happy are you to remain at the club? Yeah, delighted. Um, let's be honest, I didn't, didn't want to go anywhere else. Uh, you know, it was everyone knows I love the club, um, love the supporters, just have a, you know, everyone about the club has been brilliant um, in my 10 years here, so um, it, was a, it was a no brainer. And obviously, back in the side over the last last few games from from Glen to Port of Down, and, and that probably helps you just settle back in. I know you, you know, we, we see in social media, and you've got a big influence over, you know, with the club and the fans and that connection. How important is it to be back playing? More importantly, for you personally, massive. Um, not only just th it shows that the manager has a belief in me. Um, not only with the contract, but the fact that I'm back in the team. Um, we'll say that we've. we've Good goalkeepers now at the club, um, and you know you have to be on your game to stay in the in the team, and that's what I'm hopefully, you know, hopefully I've done that. Um, in the, in the last two games, I feel like I've I've done okay, um, but hopefully there's more to come. And obviously on the back, Sean, of a couple of tough results, and and I know probably you know you get one defeat, it runs into the next one, and, and I think it's clear that the hunger and the desire has been there from all the players, and it's maybe just a rub of the green that you need sometimes. But it was really important to get the win on, on Tuesday night, especially going one behind, and then it showed the character and the reaction of, of the players. And I think one thing's been clear you know, from, from you and every time you put on the shirt is, is the communication and getting the lads up for it. I think I, you know, we watched the Glen Torn stream and the commentator made reference before the game of you out and, and motivating the, the team. And Is that a big area of your game and, and how important do you think that is? Well, on the pitch, communication. I believe it's it's one of the, it's a, one of the biggest factors in the game. Um, it makes the game easier for a, a back four if you're communicating a lot. And I've always kind of prided myself on that. Um, in terms of the changing room, you know what I would say is you did say you mentioned about not getting the you know the rub of the green. Um, with this club, Stephen demands standards, um, and we as a, a a group of players demand standards on each other. Um, we've dropped below those standards and it was just a matter of time before we eventually got there. Um, good result as you say uh, on Tuesday there, um, but it's just, a, it's just another win. We, we need to build on that. It means nothing if we go and lose against Balomina. Um, it's, it's a huge game Friday night and one we're, we're really looking forward to. And just just touching, obviously, and I know it's the old cliche of not you know taking one game at a time and probably not looking at the table as, as difficult as it can be and trying to get the confidence back and the belief and, and making winning a habit again. Is that the message from the manager over the last few weeks and has it, has it been maybe just try and remain calm and keep doing what we're doing and, and look at areas of, of, of each match and see how you can improve upon it? Yeah, well, we know we've got the quality. Um, as I said, I alluded to earlier, we, we just drop below the standards of this club. Um, you know, we made clear that you know there's thousands of people who wanna wanna take want your top. There's supporters that pay their money week in week out, and and would love to be doing what you're doing. So the minimum we can give is, is is hard work and hard graft. And I feel like there's some of the games that we just we just didn't get to that. Um, over the last two games, I think our uh, our performances have have risen, and but there's still plenty more to give from this team. Yes, it's, we can look at back at other games and you know, see what we've done wrong in them. Um, but the old cliche, I know everyone hates it, but at the minute it really is one game at a time with us. The, the Glen Torren game, we should have got a result. It's a mistake from, from me. Um, my position is wrong for a goal. I think I'm going to try to go. And I don't, and Jay Danny is a good finish to be fair to him. But I make up his mind for him, for being in that position. The other night, the first goal, the goal against this, I think it just shows you the sort of goals that you can see when you're down and your luck's not in. You know, boy kicks in the ground, Dakin puts his leg down, hits his knee, bobbles over me. If Dakin's not there, it's a simple save. But what people um, didn't expect, and a, a lot of, um, I still say, a lot of people who have wrote things the other night on social media, not our supporter, other people, um, people in the game, other managers. Um, that we've seen and we will use that as motivation um, because he, what they did is they underestimated this team and they, questions our, they questioned our resilience and it's in abundance in this squad. So over the next couple of games, hopefully our supporters will see that.
just a touch on that, Sean. Obviously, you know, we uh, will not go into a lot of detail, but but social media is very powerful these days. You know what, what people are writing, and I, you know, we appreciate everybody's got an opinion on football. It's what makes the game, you know, beautiful for everybody. Yep. We all we all think we can do better. Everybody, you can sit down in your warm house and, and look back and say, you know, we, we should have done that, and absolutely, that, that's football. I guess from your point of view, and, I, and and I've definitely seen this, that you can have a real positive impact, you know, from social media and, and fan togetherness. And I guess over the past ten years in your time here, I know you're approaching the testimonial year, which which is yep. going to be a bang, I'm sure. <laughs> but obviously, the club's been so successful, you know, league wins, Santander Cup, Irish Cup, you know, and and it's been that in abundance. Is now maybe just a, a different stage of the club's career, or is it not time for panic? And we just got, as you said, the players have got the hunger, the character, and we just got to rise above it and just keep battling away. It's a, you know, it's it's a different year for football yeah. in general. Well, what I would say is that is actually my phone ringing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down. <laughs> You're okay, that off. listen. There's no uh, Dakin da- da- No problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's going to apologise. He for is. Goal, is it? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. He owes me a clean sheet bonus. Um, no. It's, it's not a time to panic. You know, one thing about it is over the last 10 years since I've been in the club, we've never been in this position. Um, and once, once you start losing games, don't get me wrong, as I said earlier, people pay their money and they, they want to see positive performances and positive results. But sometimes that just, you know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. And probably we've had a wee bit of inconsistency and bad luck, you know, together. Um, the last couple of games, hopefully we're coming out of that. Um, but no, no panic. Uh, that's what I would say. And our support, listen, our supporters aren't stupid. They they know we're we're working hard. They know that. Um, I think it's just the the rub of the green at the minute. Maybe we're not playing um, as fluently as as we'd like to, but it'll come. Um, you know, we use the, the keep the faith um, hashtag um, around here on social media. And I'm stick. I mean, I've I've actually sent it over the last couple of days. The few supporters then saying just keep the faith. You know, this is a good squad, good squad of players. Just believe in us and, and, and results will come. John, I just want to go back to, obviously, the start of the interview and we talked about the contract extension and, and, and you staying at the club and, and, and we all know how important this, this football club is to you. I want to go back, kind of, historically and look at maybe some of the highlights from, from your, your days here. And Obviously, it is unusual and probably not helping in terms of players' performance where you know, Sea View's not packed to the rafters and, and people singing the Super Uber show, song and, and, and getting the boys up for it. But I wanted to touch base just on, on some of the highlights of your, your time here. What has been the ultimate highlight in your playing days here? In terms of playing, I think I always look at as, as my highlights in this club as, as on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, I've had so many highs in, in both. Um, in terms of playing, I think Fulham was a massive um, playing against Fulham, playing against a Premier League team um, was was a massive game. Then the first season, the League Cup, your first trophy, Satanta Cup was you know unbelievable. I think the the main kind of the main ones are the, the first league title, winning at Solitude as well um, against your you know your rivals was was nice. Um, and then off the pitch, obviously the, the five days on the drink were, were fantastic <laughs> after. It. Um, but not only that, you know, I've, sometimes I look back and some of the, the things I've been to, I remember the first year, um, Malcolm Hollywood um, supporter asked me to come up to the Workies. Um, it was actually the night of the Satanta Cup final. Asked me to come up to the Workies too because it won play, their player of the year. And I can remember going up and they asked me to make a speech. And I think I, I was supposed to say you are the most loyal supporters and I said you are the most loyalist supporters <laughs> and I've never heard a roar like it in a room they were up yes and I, was, I was going no I mean loyal I mean loyal um, but I remember we things like that and what that did was it, we small things like that got me, got me close to the supporters and you know the supporters know that they mean so much to me at this club um, you know, there's, there's probably a group of who you, you know everyone knows Big Whipper and Paul Richardson, Dino Hunter, all all them boys, you know, I, I love them, all them lads, the bits like they're they've been brilliant for me throughout the, um throughout my time here. You know, I can remember another one bringing me to the Monkstown Club. I can remember showing up here with Chris Morrow worrying that I was going to the Monkstown Club and I was brought up there and treated like absolute royalty from from the word go. It was just the the salt of the earth, those people. Um and then, you know, you look at the Wolves game, you know, on the pitch. That's probably 
as much as the league titles were brilliant, the Wolves game was probably the proudest I've ever been at Crusaders, captain of the team um, at Molyneux in front of what was a you know a top top class Premier League side. That was that was one in a million like. And in some ways, Sean, does those memories, do that, does that kind of spur you on and give you an added incentive and in, in what you've talked about in the fan relationship and, and recreating all of those, you, you know, those, those moments and the special times in the game? We know football's not forever. Yep. Probably the good advantage about being a goalkeeper is you can probably play a wee bit longer than, than someone playing up front. But is all of those memories that you have, you know, an added incentive and something that spurs you on to, to keep delivering? I wouldn't have signed a contract if I didn't think that there was trophies to be won here. Um, it was as simple as that. I'm, I'm here to win. I'm a winner, um, and you know we're not going to rest and pass. You know, you, you know, pass victories or, or, or wins. I'm here to win, win trophies, um, and you know, like the rest of the squad, we we have ambitions. You know, one thing I would say in my time here is, I've never ever put one and two, three or two or three trophies on the table together something I'd really love to do, maybe a, a double or a treble. But that comes with hard work and, and we know, you know, we know no one's gonna hand it to us. Um and we know that um there's there's huge, huge um games of football ahead this year, not only this year but in years to come. Just to conclude, Sean, obviously you know I alluded to it earlier, there's there's no fans in the stadium. It's 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 probably it's probably very different for a player. Maybe you know maybe you're getting used to it now, but I just wanted to conclude maybe by by you because of your relationship with, with all of the supporters. Do you have a message for the fans maybe for the, over the next few weeks and, and, and through to the end of the season and beyond? Maybe just uh, because I know that you're not getting to, to see people, you're not getting to hear them as much as we like. Do, would you have a message for them? What I would say is whenever the bars Pink open, whenever the, whenever the bars open, bring your wallets <laughs> to save you because um, we need a good session. Uh, no, look, what I would say is we do miss that. There's no doubt that Every team is missing supporters at the minute. There's no doubt, but I think here we have a, you know, and I'm saying loyal, not loyalist. <laughs> um, we have a loyal bunch, and they come week in, week out, home and away, and you hear them. It's as simple as that. We heard them at Wolves, um, with you know, 38,000 people there. Um, we we hear them every week. They drive us on. They give us their our extra motivation. Um, and at the minute, we just we you know we need to start motivating ourselves more to get those those good results coming our way. Um, but as you say, you know, keep the faith. Um, there's plenty of big games ahead, and and just stay stay positive, and um, the results will come. I think it's it's fair to say, Sean. Just listening to you over the last over the last few minutes, I think I'm I'm ready to put my boots on or go back to work and and, and get stuck in. It, it's clear, obviously, the impact that you have on the football club and and probably amongst your amongst the players and, and even the coaching staff. So thanks very much for joining us. I know you've you've got a big another big game tomorrow night. They're all big games, and yep. and I guess all that everybody. Ever, once is, is just the players to work hard and maintain that desire and hunger but we wish you all the very best of luck between now and the rest of the season thanks very much for joining us absolutely thank you